about one and a half decade. Students ask me in the classroom, where is God? Who is God? Can we see him? This was class nine, so perfectly enthusiastic time. They have very much curious mind. They can ask different question because their situation, their time, their growth have only questions in the mind. And definitely these questions arise in the young and curious minds. They made me answer their questions. So being a teacher, I must answer to maintain my ability that the class will have to trust on me. I have to pretend that I know everything or I have to show the ability, my perfection. And I was in the position of unspeakable, but I have to try to speak out. Now I have to make them understood or make them fool. If I say he lives in the heaven, then obviously they will bring me more questions about heaven, which I have not seen, even not experienced. But yeah, I hear from my uh, ancestor, I hear from my um, gurus, my teachers, my community and my seniors. I read in a holy book in the Vaishnavism, Archiradi Marga, meaning the path of moksha. And young minds do not even able to grasp or imagine that. So um, I cannot even explain them like what is moksha. So if there was Krishna as a teacher and Arjuna was sicker, then it would have far more and different vibration and the questions of the seekers would have been solved. But here the class put me in terrible situation. And I'm trying to make my student fool I just brought one story, Pralag Bhakti, and Hiranyakashyap. So I concluded, he is with us, with all universe, living being and non-living beings. He has no forms. He is an ocean of love. His love never ends. He loves every time. But we need to get an experience of belief, trust on Him. We are His children. He is the Father and the Creator of all. He is in the universe and beyond the universe. We cannot see him, but we can feel, we can uh, see him through uh, our belief. So I asked to the student, did I answer your question? And they were puzzled. And there were a lot of questions coming. Some of the students were asking, how can you explain like this that we can make a belief that we cannot see him? Why we can't see him? I have seen his picture, his statues, like he has four hands and he's like human standing there. I have seen a lot of God and Goddesses statues and people worship. So you said uh, the God has no form? So I said, when you grow up, 
you will understand, you will find out the experience, and you will find the answers. But I try to answer you. Hope you have got some answer from me.